Good morning, everyone. My name is Amanda Gardner, and I am Assistant Director of the Wilson County Public Library. The library is currently offering our virtual summer reading program, Imagine Your Story, through August 10th. We are offering reading prizes and incentives, as well as programs for all ages via our Facebook and YouTube channels. If you haven't yet signed up for summer reading, please visit our website or call us to learn how. The Imagine Your Story theme brings to mind mythical creatures, fairy tales, and fantasy, and we are offering many virtual programs on those themes. And imagining your story also refers to reflecting on your personal story, the influences that have shaped your past and will continue to shape your future. For many of us, food is something that has played a huge role in our lives. Think back to the delicious spreads at family gatherings or church potlucks and imagine some of your go-to recipes. When you learned to cook, perhaps you tried to recreate some of these. Perhaps a family member taught you to make a special dish and you have passed it down to your children. Or perhaps you came across a recipe in a magazine or on Pinterest and it has become a favorite in your dinner rotation. The Wilson County Public Library has a huge collection of cookbooks, including celebrity chefs, time-tested standards such as good housekeeping and taste of home, and we also have a number of local community and church cookbooks in our North Carolina collection, as you can see here on the table. One of our fun activities this summer is creating a cookbook based on your family recipes and stories. We invite customers of all ages to submit a recipe that is meaningful to you or your family in some way, one that is part of your story. We would love to hear the story or anecdote behind your recipe. Log on to our website at www.wilsoncountypubliclibrary.org or our Facebook page for more information and to download a recipe template. Recipes must be submitted by Friday, August 7th to any open library location or emailed to the address on the screen. Library staff will compile your submissions into a document and upload to our website where you can download to your computer or print. Keep watching this video for a cooking demonstration and story from library staff and keep reading too. See you Hi next everybody. time. My name is Mariah. I am a library assistant here at the Wilson County Public Library. I work in the Adult Services Department. We are in the middle of our summer reading program. And part of our summer reading program is we are putting together a cookbook with your recipes and with some of our recipes as well, I believe. And so to kind of celebrate that, we are doing a cooking demo today. Um, but today we are making bean dip. And this is a recipe that my mom learned um, when I was really small. She learned it from a co-worker and she made a couple of changes and now it's a staple in our family. This is like the recipe, like the dish that we take to any like Christmas dinner or covered dish, potluck, anything like that. Um, this is what we bring. Um, so what you're going to need is a can of refried beans, a can of black beans, some sour cream, it does not need to be this much sour cream, um, but this is the smallest the store had. You can also use uh, plain yogurt as well. Uh, do not use vanilla yogurt. If there are any younger viewers here and you don't know, there is a big difference between vanilla yogurt and plain yogurt. This is a lesson I had to learn when I was probably your age when I made bean dip and used the wrong yogurt and it tasted mm, not great. <laughs> So be sure to use plain yogurt or just use sour cream. That's fine. And we've also got salsa. Um, any kind of like tomato salsa will be fine. If you like your spicy, then go ahead and get the hot stuff. Um, if you are like me and are kind of a baby, then just get the mild and you'll be good. And we've also got some cheese here, but it's triple cheddar, so just any cheddar cheese or um, a Mexican blend that you can get at like Food Lion or Piggly Wiggly. Uh, anything like that will be fine, but we're gonna start. And you don't have to use your fanciest punch bowl to mix this in, but we have chosen to do so today because um, we have a lot of class here at the library. <laughs> but we're just gonna get, and I have 
drained, gone ahead and drained my black beans here because you don't really want the, um, what's it, juice in it. It'll make it a little weird. You don't have to rinse them. I chose to because I hate the juice that black beans come in. I think it's absolutely disgusting and so I rinse it every time. But you may be different than I am. And then what we're gonna do is take just a regular spoon and do about three good spoonfuls. This is the part where I tell you I'm not usually very exact when I cook. I had to practice this beforehand to make sure I could tell you guys the correct way to do it. Because the way I cook is just until it looks right. Just put it in, put enough salsa in until it seems the way it should be. But the way it should be is about a cup. I tested it last night and it tasted delicious. So don't worry, a cup is good. And then I'm gonna do two cups of your cheese. And you may have noticed that there's no meat here, so it is vegetarian. But I'll tell you later that it doesn't have to be. Oh my. Yeah, there's cheese everywhere. done it should look something like this you can cook it kind of two ways if you're making this for dinner or to take somewhere you're going to want to preheat your oven to about 400 degrees and cover it in with tin foil so it doesn't dry out in the oven and cook it for about half an hour to 45 minutes just until it's the cheese is melty and it's like warm all the way through but if you're like me and my family you can also just put it in a bowl um, one serving at a time and heat it up in the microwave. Or if you're like my dad, uh, you can just eat it cold. But he is a feral cat that we found out back and put a plaid shirt on, so you may want to heat it up first. You're probably going to want to eat it with some tortilla chips. Uh, the Just any old plain tortilla chips. You can get them for probably a dollar or two at the store. Um, and then you're good to go. One of the great things about this recipe is that it's really versatile. So you can eat it as is and have it be a dinner or an appetizer. Um, you can also beef it up with some meat, uh, pun absolutely intended. You can put some shredded or chopped chicken in it or um, some ground beef. Or if you're a vegetarian like me, you can use some uh, fake meat and that tastes just fine. Um, you can use taco meats that's um, already seasoned, or you can use unseasoned, it's fine. Um, my mom also used to add some yellow rice to it when I was younger to um, make it more of a meal. Uh, and so there's lots of ways you can dress it up and make it yours. Uh, you can use different kinds of refried beans. They have refried black beans, and that's good as well. Um, you can, like I mentioned, use hot salsa there are flavored refried beans you can use. Um, you could, I don't know, add some lime to it. That's probably good. Lime's delicious. I'll put a lime in anything. But there's, there's a lot of different ways you can make this your story. So like I mentioned before, this is a part of our summer reading program. This is part of the adult summer reading program. But we also have a kids summer reading program and a teen summer reading program. Um, so for the Adult Summer Reading Program, we are putting together a cookbook with some of your recipes, some of our recipes. Um, it's part of our story, and we would like to invite you to tell us your story. Uh, your story involving any recipe you would like to submit to us. You can find a template for that on our website, which should be displayed here. And we look forward to hearing from you guys. Uh, tell us what you think. Give this video a like if you want to see more like it. Uh, we should have some more coming soon for you guys. Um, and I would like to thank you for joining me here in our beautiful library kitchen. Have a good evening, you guys.